How's it going everybody? My name is Dave Whipple and you're watching Cheap Wheels. Today I'm going to show you guys how to change a gas tank. A lot of people have a car with a gas tank that leaks. Maybe if you pulled it out you could patch it, but maybe you can't. As you can see, I've already got the bad tank out of the truck. And the reason for that is putting a tank in is the same exact process as taking one out. So I'm going to show you guys what that looks like when we get there. Now that we've got both tanks out, let's prep this tank and get it ready to go in. Now on this particular tank, this is a breather hose unit came out of this tank, did not come with the new one, so we're just gonna swap this part over. Now the rubber grommet that came out of the old tank, we're just gonna use this one again. But there is a whole bunch of rust in that groove where it goes into the tank. We're gonna use a chainsaw file to clean that groove out. Get all those little rust particles out of that groove. Now here's that little breather assembly. It's kinda like a PCV valve. We're gonna install our grommet. There we go. Perfect. I'm just going to put a touch of oil on this housing and that's going to help that slide into that grommet much, much better. There we go. Perfect. Now how this style of fuel pump works, the fuel pump hanger sits in this flat spot and then it has a lock ring. You can see this lock ring is disgusting. We're not going to reuse this fuel pump even though it does work. We're going to change everything over. What we're going to do is we're going to reuse the fuel pump hanger. That's all this stuff up top and these metal hoses. We're going to change the pump itself and we're going to change the filter that's on the bottom of it. We're going to install all of this into our brand new tank. Well, here's our old fuel pump. Here's our new one. Here's the pump motor itself. Here's the screen filter that goes on the bottom of the pump. So what we're going to do is we're going to swap everything from this old pump onto this new pump. Now this is a pretty straightforward job. It's just a few screws to take out. Now what this is, is the fuel sending unit. It doesn't send fuel, what it does is it sends a signal as to how full the tank is. Basically, this is your fuel gauge in a nutshell. We're gonna attach the float to this little arm, and when the gas is full, the float's going to be in one position, and as the tank empties, it's gonna move down to empty and you're going to see it on your dash. Now that I have the fuel sending unit disconnected, I'm going to come down here to where the wire for the fuel sending unit hooks on and I'm going to disconnect this wire. There we go. We're going to be reusing this fuel sending unit. So we're just going to set that aside. This whole metal section is called the fuel pump hanger and it's basically the fuel lines and it's the cap. We're going to take all this stuff up here and we're gently going to pry it away from the actual fuel pump itself. Kind of a little bit at a time. There's three different hoses that are going into this fuel pump and we just need to be as gentle as we can. I definitely don't want to hurt this fuel pump because I've got several Ford trucks and I may need it at another time for another vehicle. It still works, but while I'm changing this tank, I'm just gonna go ahead and change the pump too. The fuel pump itself only has two wires, a positive and a negative. We're going to unwind them off of the fuel pump hanger, clip them at about the right length, and then we're gonna splice on the new pump wires. Now we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna clip these wires. And there's our old fuel pump. There's our fuel pump hanger. Now we need to prep our wires. Here's our new fuel pump. There's our hanger. We're going to plug the hanger into the fuel pump. Here we go. Let's put our sending unit on. And with those three screws we took off earlier, we're going to bolt the pump, the sending unit, and the hanger all together. Time to reattach that yellow wire from the sending unit. I think that's about as long as these wires need to be, about like that. Clip both of those off. Believe it or not, it's just a simple wire connection that holds all this stuff together. It's what the standard set of wire crimping pliers your grandpa had. Just cram it in there as far as it's going to go. Give it a good crimp. Give it a good tug. Oh, that's good. Do the same thing with the black wire. Now your tank and your fuel pump might look different than this one, but in the world of electronic fuel pumps, they're all very similar. So it's gonna be some variation of what I'm doing in this video. 
crimp it a couple extra times even though it probably doesn't even need it. Give it a good tug. There we go. There's our red wire, there's our black wire reconnected, and of course there's our little yellow one for the fuel sending unit. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this fuel filter. This goes on the bottom of the pump itself. Kind of has one of these connections, it's like a Chinese finger trap. You know, once you take and push that on there, it's not going to want to come back off. I'm just going to cram it on, just like so, and there it is. And just like that, our new fuel pump is all assembled. Now what we're going to do, we're going to clean off this ring where there's caked on rust and junk. Why didn't we do this when it was all apart? Well, because I forgot. We want this lip to be nice and smooth because there's going to be a rubber gasket in our new kit that's going to seal that lip to the tank itself. Now our fuel pump is totally ready to go back in. The bottom side of the hanger portion is nice and clean and all the rust chunks have been knocked off the top side. Now here's what holds the whole thing together. This is the gasket and this is the lock ring. Now this is the float. This is what makes the sending unit work. What now before we put our fuel pump in the tank, we have to put our little float back on. You can see where it attaches right there. Now when you fill up the little float floats, it moves the little mechanism right there. Floats up, full tank. Longer you drive, the float goes farther down and your gas gauge goes farther down. Very simple system. Now getting this monstrosity back in the tank, that's going to take a little bit. We're going to put in our float, put in our filter. There we go. Okay, the whole unit is in the tank. Oh, I forget our wires. Get our wires in there. Now we're going to take our gasket and feed it over all this junk. Feed it over like so. Because we definitely don't need that in the way while we're trying to get everything else figured out. And get that gasket top of that plate. It's going to set down there in that little groove just like so. There we go, just like that. We're going to take our ring flat side down. We're going to thread our ring on top of all this stuff. And we're going to take a hammer we're going to tap that ring. That new fuel pump is installed. That ring is nice and tight as far as it's going to go. It's squashed that little rubber gasket that's up underneath there and our tank is good. I'm going to take the tank, pull it underneath here with me, push it up, hold it with my knee and I need to get a bolt in one of these straps. Now with this kind of gas tank strap it just clips in by hand. It kind of goes in a hole and you turn it and it locks itself in. On the other end, there is a hole where a bolt passes through and tightens it on. You can see here I'm taking that strap and I'm just clipping it in the one side. doesn't take any tools. And then on the far side, I'll be using a bolt. Okay. So now I'm going to take this strap. There's only two bolts that hold this whole thing on with these two straps. Now that I got the nut on there, this gas tank is just gonna hang now. I'm just gonna put a wrench on the back side of that bolt, take an impact, run that sucker tight. I don't know what I'd do without an impact on some of these rusty rigs. I need to get my electrical hooked up. There we go. We're going to hook our fuel lines up. There we go. Here's one. Here's two. You know, I never cared for this truck being all jacked up. But it does come in handy when you're working on stuff like this. 
Okay, here's our ventilation setup. I think it goes I think it goes this way. It goes on this side. I think this big hose goes on this side. There we go. Scenes are up underneath here, getting kind of a mechanic's eye view. There's that breather. There's our two fuel lines, from my view anyway. The fuel line and the return line. There is where the fuel goes in. And if you look over here, right up there is where the fuel tube comes through the, the side of the box. This is my new fuel fill tube. Okay, that tube goes in there. Nice, nice, nice. Now I'll throw a little bit of fuel in that front tank and we'll give it a shot, see how it works. Well, just like that. Change the gas tank. Basically, you got two straps. You pull two nuts off, two bolts, the tank is ready to fall down. Two fuel lines to pull off, two vent hoses to pull off, one fill tube to pull off. Once the tank is out, take out the fuel pump, put it in the new tank, or put it in a new fuel pump. Or like in this video, we took the fuel pump apart, used part of the old fuel pump, put on a brand new pump mechanism. That's what it looks like, and that's the process you need to go through to change a tank, or to pull one down and repair it or to change a fuel pump. My name's Dave Whipple and thank you so much for watching Cheap Wheels. Keep your junk on the road. See you soon.